Today I'm going over joints, cartilage, ligaments, and tendons. So first things first, let's go ahead and talk about joints. And I am not talking about what you guys smoke, I am talking about bones. To be specific, I am talking about the end of bones and where they meet. So where the end of two bones meet, that is what we call a joint. So for example, this right here, where it bends, and this right here, that those two are called joints. There's a bone here, a bone here, and they bend. All right, you guys follow me? So that's a joint, where the end of two bones meet. It's as simple as that. Now, cartilage. What is cartilage and where is it found? Cartilage is usually found in between bones, the end of two bones. It'll be at the tip of the bones, right? So at the end of the bones, you'll find a cartilage. It's a smooth substance that allows for smooth bending. That's really what cartilage does. You find it at the end of each bone and it allows for smooth bending. Um, your ears too, so your ears, we'll say that's an ear, that's made out of cartilage. Your nose, that's made out of cartilage also. But uh, this is, when we're talking about cartilage, we're also talking about the, the ends of each bone um, in a joint to allow for smooth bending. Now, a ligament and a tendon. So first things first, what is a ligament? A ligament is something that connects one bone to another bone. And what it does is that it really allows the bone to be stable. That way when you're bending it, it's not loose, it's not going all over the place, and it's not being detached. So ligaments hold the bones in place, they stabilize the bones, that way you're not falling apart every time you move. And that's what a ligament does, so a, li a ligament does, sorry about that. So a ligament attaches one bone to another bone, and it really stabilizes the bone the bones together and allows for smooth movement. That way, every time I try to bend this finger, it doesn't go all over the place and get uh, wacky on me. Now, a tendon. What is a tendon? A tendon attaches from attaches a muscle to the bone itself. The tendon attaches. So this right here is a muscle. It will attach a muscle to a bone. And this is what really allows you to move. So when this bone con contracts, I mean, when this muscle contracts, it's going gonna, it's gonna to pull back in that tendon and it's going to allow this muscle to move upwards. So we'll say uh, that this right here, we'll say it's a femur. And this is your tibia. Put a T right there because I don't have much room. And if this was bent and you wanted to kick a ball, this muscle would contract, this tendon would pull back, and then this the tibia would straighten out. Um, hopefully that kind of makes sense to you guys. But really what I'm trying to get across in this video is just what each one does, uh, each one of these do, and where they are found. So just to reiterate a little bit, your joints, that's the end of two bones, and that's where they meet, okay? That's where the end of two bones meet. Cartilage is that smooth substance at the end of the bones that allow for smooth bending. That's what they do, they allow for smooth bending. Takes away that, all that friction. Ligaments attach one bone to another bone and it really just stabilizes the bones together, the ends of the bones, that way, you know, you got that smooth, st steady bending and it's sturdy and that's what it does. Your tendons, they, uh, they attach from a muscle to a bone, and that's what allows for movement, for the actual movement to occur. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, again, like always, leave a comment below. Ask any questions. I'm more than happy to clarify or make another video. Uh, see you guys later.